In unit one, lab five, we're gonna program two sprites. We're gonna have one sprite follow your mouse, and then we're gonna have the other sprite chase the first sprite. So we haven't done this before. We haven't worked with two sprites at the same time. So you're gonna see what goes into doing that. On this page, we're just gonna focus on having the first sprite follow the mouse around the stage, and then having the second sprite point towards the mouse. On page two, we'll figure out how to get the other sprite to start following around sprite one. I've already gone ahead and started this new project, but you should discuss with your partner or think about what mouse X and mouse Y do. Both of them are reporter blocks because they have that oval shape, and both of them, or each one of them, is reporting the position of the mouse along the X axis and along the Y axis for mouse X and mouse Y respectively. Now before I click on the green flag, I actually expect the sprite to keep following around the mouse because it's going to mouse X, mouse Y forever. So if I click on the green flag, we should see that the sprite follows the mouse. Now you'll notice that there's nothing that can be attached above the when green flag is clicked block. So that means it's known as a hat block. And hat blocks, they detect events that occur in snap. So if you want to respond to an event, you're going to use a hat block. The hat blocks are found in the control palette, and some of these have different events that they can respond to. So for example, if a sprite is clicked, pressed, dropped, or maybe when a different key on the keyboard is pressed, they do something. All of that is available to you if you bring in a hat block that can detect events. The hat block doesn't say what the sprite should do, but instead they can respond to some event, and then you can program what the sprite should do. In number five, it says to create a second sprite by clicking on the add new sprite button just below the stage. So if we click it, you'll see that sprite two is now on the stage. Sprite one is still there, but it's kind of like off screen because I moved my mouse onto the scripting palette or into the sprite corral. So you can't really see it right now. You'll also notice that sprite two is activated right now and there's no scripts inside of sprite two. So I can go back to sprite one or the first sprite to see what's in there. I could also go to sprite two and it has no code. So we have to add code so that it can perform something or do something when we want it to. Now we want this sprite to point towards sprite one. So I'm gonna go over to the motion palette and bring in the point towards block. And then we could select which sprite we want it to point towards. So if I select sprite, it's gonna to point towards the first sprite. Now we're asked to change our script for sprite two so that when the green flag is clicked, sprite two will point towards sprite one forever. So I'm gonna go over to the control palette and bring over when green flag is clicked. Now, when I click on the green flag, the sprite two will point towards sprite one, as you just saw. Now it's facing in this direction. I could also click on the hat block in the scripting area, and would you look at that? Sprite two still points towards the mouse. But we don't wanna to have to keep clicking on the green flag to get sprite two to face sprite one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in the forever block so that I only have to click it once, and it forever will point towards sprite one. So now if I click on the green flag, sprite two, is facing sprite one, just as we want. Just double check that your sprite always follows your mouse when you move it around, and that sprite two stays in place, but always points towards sprite, or sprite one. If you have to stop the script at any point, just make sure to touch that little red stop sign looking button, and both sprites will stop following their instructions. And if you wanna restart it, you just hit the green flag, and both of them are going to respond to that event. Now is a good time to save your work, and I will see you on page two.